What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel for the real estate lovers. Today we are in Abuja. We're actually in Wuye, Abuja and we are at the Coast Group Smart Estate. I'm actually very excited to bring this one to you guys because the company actually have a bragging right as the pioneers of smart home technology. Now right here on the channel, we have actually taught a couple of smart homes, but right here in this community, not only are the individual homes smart, but the whole estate works together. Like it's super smart, energy saving, they are almost upgrade, and all of these very fantastic things that I'm going to share with you as we proceed on this video, right? Today we are actually at a five bedroom detached. They actually have um, a four bedroom penthouse and a four bedroom terrace and a three bedroom block of flat. So uh, whatever your budget is, right here you can live in this community. This particular unit is sitting on 376 square meters, but the house itself is sitting on 150 square meters. That's to tell you that you have enough you know, space beside the building and you have a decent backyard, which I'm going to show you shortly. So the selling point for this property is a smart home technology. It's actually powered by Google. You have, uh, you know, motion sensors and all of these good things that make living very, very exciting. All right. If you want more details, more information, you can look below this video. You'll get all of that. All right. So without further ado, join me on this tour. Let me show you what a smart home in the Coast Grove estate looks like. Come along. I'm going to first take you to the left and then the right and then we'll go in okay now on the left hand side you have what I would like to call a garden a, 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 a nice sit out area so you can see what they did they kept it here so you can actually get creative and do a lot of work with this right come along come along with me let's go all the way to the back you have a space where you can play with whatever you want to do as you can see there are children playing on the other end uh, and this right here is the entrance into the house from the kitchen so this particular unit is powered by solar it's something that you can you know speak to them and they will get on in your units if you want to get uh, yourself in this community now over to my right hand side you have a garage that can accommodate say three vehicles so this property can park at least six vehicles but come on man who's going to own uh six vehicles what are you doing with six vehicles but um that's what it is so right now let's go into the the property and see what the interior looks like all right welcome home so a uh, couple of things i want to point out in this part of the house is uh this smart door lock system i mean who's going to have a smart house without having a technology like this now it can actually be accessed with uh, a code you have a smart card or you it's also it also has a fingerprint now some of the another feature this device have is you know just with your phone you can grant access or deny anybody into your home so even if you're not around you can create a code give it to someone and they can ask you can access your home which is something really really cool and you have this door that is made of really really good wood right now on this uh this part of the house this is the foyer or the ante room uh on this other end you have the staircase going upstairs you have an elevator entrance and this can access all the floors as well now something i mentioned at the beginning of this property is you know there are motion sensors everywhere now i can show you how it works now whenever you open a door in any of the units you can see that the light automatically comes on and what i was told is after a while this house has um, ai it begins to learn how you use things when you get into a particular room over time it gets to do these things for you without you triggering them which is a really really cool feature right and uh yeah this is the the guest toilet okay so right now i'm going to take you to the living room which you're going to be wowed by so first thing first you have this french door which is it, it usually adds aesthetics to a house right and i love that this was actually in this unit now this is actually uh i would like to call it a semi you know open plan you know kind of living room uh just that the 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 kitchen is on the other end but it would have been really lovely to have a space where you have the the living room the dining and also the kitchen but this is really really good uh something i would like to point to your attention is if you go up and look at the ceilings now you have central speakers you have central cooling system you have 
motion detectors and then you have uh, light fixtures right so with this dial right here you can control the temperature for this space because all the rooms have their own dials for that so that's uh, these are the little details you should look at when you call something luxury and you also have cameras as well so at the beginning of the, uh, when we had the foyer i actually told you that there are ipads in every uh, part of the house now this is uh, what it looks like now with this iPad you can control this whole house You can even shut it down and then you can voice command and it could do whatever you want you to do I can give you an example right now. Hey Google open living room curtain So it's going to take that information and then go ahead and open uh, this so there's, there's quite a number of actions and things you can tell you know google to do for you from turning on your tv to boiling the water for you to turning the lights in your room you know just get creative and you can only get that in an apartment like this in coast grove right so now i would like to take you guys to the other part of the house but first let's take a look at this um dining i mean you might want to give a thumbs up to the interior i don't know if you guys can see what i'm seeing from here but i want to give a thumbs up to whosoever did the interior decor for this particular unit right now you have a six seater dining right here it's actually uh, collapsible so you can collapse this to just a four seater which is really lovely you also have you know a, a cooling system right here you have speakers and lights as well you have a storage for all your cutleries and plates and all of these cool things and on this other end you have your smart cleaner and this can actually be controlled too with the ipad so you can set it at intervals to go around and you know clean the home if you have people coming and all of this which is uh it's a really good feature i would like to point out to you guys as well okay so on this other end you have the kitchen which is the part that i'm always curious to when i step into a house so come in let's take a look at it um i'm really impressed uh, i'm impressed with it but i felt if this was open it would have been really lovely but i love what they did here with the tone of you know colors just white and black now this island uh it's really lovely and has just an induction hub by Mille. You have the Mille microwave, you have the Mille oven, and then Mille uh, uh, burner as well. Uh, I, I love the brand. It's a German brand and I think they do really good work, right? Now you have um, a washing machine also on this end. You have a sink on this end and then you have so many storage space for every single like this is so lovely i don't know what you're going to have to fill up all this space but yeah you have that right and then you take a look at this backsplash how lovely how lovely it looks right and then just beneath you have your heat extractor now i really i like this because it's not very conspicuous it's not big it sinks into the interior decor of the kitchen and makes it looks very minimalistic and luxurious right now you have your cooling system on this other end you have speakers still on this floor with motion sensors you have the exit from the kitchen you have the exit into the foyer or the ante room and on this other end you have your pantry room which is your storage you can store your yam your plantain and you know every other thing you need to make cooking enjoyable for you this is your deep freezer and then this is the the refrigerator it uh, sinks in the wall very lovely very nice with you know space on top over there so if you like the kitchen let me know in the comment section you like the kitchen and and then i'm going to take you to the first room which is the guest room come along with me so you have you know um a king size bed right here two windows for cross ventilation which is lovely you have your tv and your tv console on this other end it's actually ensued so you have your vanity you have a wc and then you have a standing shower very complete uh it's nice for your guests and right now i'm going to take you guys to the first floor should we access it with the lift or the staircase i think i'm going to use the staircase so i show you some details right there so on the first floor you have the family lounge and then you have three bedroom two of them people would like to call them children room and then you have the the second primary room on that floor which i'm going to take you to right now so let's go over to the first floor and see how that looks Right here you have the entrance the elevator entrance to this first floor right stepping into this part of the house you have the family lounge on here so on this floor you also have the smart cleaner which is uh something that i think is lovely and then you have an ipad on this other end as well you can voice command just like we did in the living room very lovely light fixtures on this end you have your tv your tv console uh, that's a motion sensor so it's, it's, it's uh, detected i was right here and it came up and then you have you know it's space to sit down and all. So you have three rooms. So let's look at the first one. So this is the first room on this floor. 
almost similar to what you would have right here but you have a bigger closet and then you have your control for your cooling system here as well it's ensued you have two windows for cross ventilation you also have central speakers uh, and then a motion sensor up there as well and then you have the bathroom you have a smart mirror you have your vanity and then you have your wc on this end and it has a, a standing shower very beautiful and very lovely so this right here is the second bedroom remember we step in light comes up um it's almost similar similar size uh, you have your wardrobe on this end, your TV and your TV console, a king size bed, two windows for cross ventilation. But on this other side, you have um, a sit out unit, which you don't have in the other unit and in the other bedroom as well. And then you have your bathroom. Okay, now this looks bigger than the other one that we have. You have your WC, a vanity, and a bigger, you know, um, standing shower, which I think is really lovely. So on this end, you have the primary bedroom for this floor you have you know um, sort of like a rug you have your TV your TV console and you have a bigger bed on this other end with nice drawers at the side you have central cooling system very lovely nice fi light fixtures you also have speakers as well now all these windows can be voice command you can open you can close them and then right here you have entrance into the balcony right here for this uh, unit you stand here and you can look at how the estate looks. Here on this other end, you have the, um, the bathroom. Lovely. So this is uh, bigger than the other two. It has a vanity. Now this is actually a TV. So it was actually centralized. It's just tiny details, guys. It was actually centralized with this bathtub. So while you're in the bathtub, you can be watching a very lovely movie. And you know, I love it. You have this hidden um, lights right there that just bring the shades of blue which adds to the aesthetics of this right you have a lovely you know space to store all your creams or perfumes and everything you have a standing shower just in case you don't want to use the bathtub right here it actually has a rain head so I don't think anybody can get as tall as this to get on to that point so you have your dials everywhere and then you have your WC on this end quite spacious very lovely now let's go to the second floor and see what the second floor has for us but before then i didn't talk about this so this is the closet um, really big really spacious i love it you, you have sections for your shoes bags and everything you need to store for yourself all right so you, you also have the fire extinguisher a very good detail for your apartment and then you have you know plants and there's a window here that can be left open or closed you have a camera motion sensors on this other end so you know you just know who is in your house and you're able to control some things let's go so we are at the second floor where you have the primary bedroom and then the balcony come in first i'm going to show you what the balcony looks like this is the entrance uh, this is the elevator entrance into this floor now this balcony is really lovely it has an uh, access from the primary bedroom and also from this end as well you know so it was uh set up in a way that this this serves like a lounge so you can come here, sit down, have some drinks with friends. And this other door uh, leads to the primary bedroom, but I'm going to show you from the other end. And you know, the estate just has a very lovely feel from this end, which is lovely. Okay, so let's uh, proceed with our tour. Very lovely uh, chandeliers. And then you have, you know, your central cooling system as well. Because I noticed in most properties, the house is going to be cold, but the staircase is always hot. So this is going to be avoided uh, in this property. Okay. So stepping right now into the primary bedroom, come in. I guess you haven't seen this before. Now on this end, you have sort of like a mini lounge for the primary bedroom. And on this end, you have the entrance into the office because you need to do some work. You should, you know, do it right here. And so come in, something else I'm going to show you as well. Now you can see this TV right here has all the cameras. So all the cameras and all the motion sensors and basically everything that I've been putting to you uh, as we started this video, all can be accessed with this monitor, right? So you can sit right here in your office and have an idea of what is happening even in your backyard downstairs, which is lovely, okay? Lovely POP work. You have your speaker, central cooling system. You know, this is like set up like an office. So you have everything right here. You have internet and everything provided for you. And then on this other end, you have you know the lounge that i showed you and then this end you also have a private balcony 
for the primary bedroom, right? So this is shared while this is not shared. And that's something I like about this house. I know you like it as well, okay. So stepping back into the primary bedroom, uh, you have the main bedroom on this end, really big, really gigantic, and I love it. Very lovely light fixtures, steel speakers on top, lovely space to, you know, make sure that you have a good night rest after a very busy day of work. And then you have a walk-in closet. So this is the only room that has a walk-in closet. Uh, I don't think you're gonna have enough clothes to fill up this space. Uh, as I told you, this house, it learns from the way you live, right? And then on this other end, you have the bathroom for the master's bedroom. You have your double AC, this lovely marble countertop right here. You have a smart mirror as well that can be turned on and accessed. And then you have your bathtub on this end with a standing shower with a rain head. Uh, if you're liking this house so far, let me know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I guess you like this. Uh, so I'm just going to reiterate and put up some key points that I feel you should know, right? This property is sitting on 376 square meters, but the house itself is sitting on, is sitting on 150 square meters. So it's very spacious. You have five bedrooms. You have a servant quarter, which I didn't show you. This particular unit come fully fitted, fully furnished, but the other properties come just fully fitted. So I guess you'd have to do the furniture work yourself, all right? Now, this is a development uh, by Cold Groove. Uh, if you want to get any unit right here in this community, I, I told you they are the pioneers of smart home te technology in Nigeria. So if you want to get any of this unit for yourself, look below this video, there's a contact information you can call and then we can schedule an, uh, a viewing for you. You come here, you look at these things for yourself, all right? I want to thank the company for giving me the opportunity to tour this and bring this amazing development to you guys. And don't forget guys, on this channel, we make videos about real estate, travel and you know we also do interviews of young Africans doing amazing things so if it's your first time my name is Stephen please subscribe join my family and let's tour Africa together all right until the next video I'll see you soon peace yeah.